All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, we're going to have a little fun here, uh, or a little something different here. We've got Titanic Honor and Glory, the Demo 401. That can all probably stay as it is. Oh, except for graphics, let's see. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, let's explore during the day. Let's see. Well, of course, we're going to start with first class. All right, so here we are. We're starting at a D deck. The uh, the gangplank would be right here. Of course, all we're seeing is ocean, though. But yeah, first class went in or here. Uh, if you've seen the movie, uh, you've seen that gangplank. They come in through here. And the game might be a little choppy. It is a demo, so it's not a, uh, a final product. But we're going to walk around and explore. Not sure what the two uh, things are here. And you can go through these doors, and that's going to lead to the grand staircase. But let's take a look over here first. I guess the companion ways would mean these uh these hallways here. These I would imagine these are cabins. We'll work our way from uh forward to aft on each deck. Oh, that goes down to E deck. I do know a little about the ship. Uh, I am not a uh, Titanic historian by any means, but you know, I have done some of my own research of it over the years. So uh, yeah, I do know a few things. Uh, more uh, entryways into the ship right here. Yeah, so basically it's like the ship is sitting in the middle of water. You don't see land on either side. Of course, these are the lifts. Looks like they are... I don't th think you can use the lifts in this demo. It's actually very beautiful. I want to go back and see uh, see that staircase. I'm sure that leads to E deck, of course. Oh, and that probably goes down to F deck. OK, 
Okay, uh, this goes down further than I thought it would be. I don't know if I want to go down this far just yet. Let's see. Ah, this is the mail room. Here's the cargo area. I wonder if the car is in here. So uh, when the ship hit the berg, this was one of the first areas to take on water. Yeah, so this is all cargo. Now, one thing I've I've heard, and I do not know if it's true or not, but uh, should the mail actually ever be recovered out of the mail room of the Titanic, it still has to be delivered. Now, consult with a historian or you know on that if you like, but that's what I had heard. So yeah, this room started taking on water almost right away. I would love to be able to actually get on with uh, someone who knows a whole lot more about the, uh, the ship than I do and uh, explore with them. These are all male sacks. Let's go, uh, let's see. Ah, the, uh, the squash court. This does play a prominent role, or not that prominent, but uh, it does play a role in the 1995 or 96 game uh, Titanic Adventure Out of Time which was an incredible game uh, to this day it's still one of my all time favorite PC games huh like how they've got the uh, almost sounds like uh, hitting a tennis ball against the wall or something Let's go back up to D-Deck. And we're heading aft, back towards the uh, Grand Staircase. And there it is. So these first doors you'd come through are after you enter the ship. We were just here. That's the door. And you can see it leads to the grand staircase. This is the dining area. Well, behind those doors. This game has been in development for like 10 years or something like that. Uh, it's changed uh, direction a couple of times. So if you saw the movie, this room probably looks familiar to you. Uh, this is where the uh, first class dinner scene took place. 
It's also uh, later on in the movie when the uh, captain has them singing during church service. It looks like it's in this room as well. But in Titanic Adventure Out of Time, uh, the older game, there's also a part where you go and you got to find a cufflink in one of these chairs. Now, obviously, that game doesn't look nowhere near as good as this one because it's about almost 30 years old. But they did a great job with that game. Like, like I said, it's one of my uh, favorite games to date. be nice if you could pick up a menu or you can scroll let's do that again let's see there we go the menu from April 14th 1912 salmon mayonnaise that sounds disgusting so there's Norwegian anchovies Let's see what's back here. Nice little display counter bar, whatever you want to call it. Don't know if you can come back here. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, no. Uh, you can't go through those doors, so I imagine the ones on the other side you can't go through either. All right, nope. Well, let's make our way back to the Grand Staircase. I think we'll go down. Uh, we're going to check out Scotland Road. All right, so we're going down to E deck. And let's see how much of E deck we can see. So this would be Scotland Road. And what Scotland Road is, it's like a, uh, a long hallway that runs from the front of the back of the ship that we uh, crew could easily get from one side of the ship to the other. And the lifts, of course. And of course that goes down to F deck. Uh, invisible wall here we can't pass what is this this is crew quarters I imagine stewards second class stewards so they just opened one room so you could see it Now, see, in uh, Adventure Out of Time, they made Scotland Road. It looked more like a maze than it did a straight hall. You know, all these winding and twisting hallways, uh, much more narrow corridors. down here. That's why it's so dark. I'm guessing this is a place for third class passengers. I'm not familiar with this room. Yeah, 
Okay, it's got to be something for third class passengers. Much to see here, I would imagine. Why'd you put a porthole way up there? Unless people were extremely tall back then. This almost looks like a stage. Okay, so that must be the squash court right here. Yeah, this almost looks like a stage or something. It is. Here we go. We're back at uh, Scotland Road. I said this runs the whole length of the ship. This must go down. To the boilers and the engine room. Yeah, see that steam? That's got to. This has got to be some boilers down here. You did not want to be here. In the ship in the bird, I imagine. That door shuts right here. You were trapped. sure where this was supposed to lead to or if it's something that's not complete yeah that's a coal shoot Some of these guys that were able to get up to the upper decks got up as fast as they possibly could once that water started rushing in. What's up here? So we're obviously getting really really high uh, you cannot climb this ladder no 
back down we go. down Scotland Road. Yeah, we've been there. And that goes up to the Grand Staircase. There is an aft Grand Staircase as well. Of course, it's not as uh, quick as fancy as the uh, the forward one. Yeah, so that's uh, that's third class down there. stern section now. You can see it goes all the way to the back of the ship. Here's another bulkhead. And there's the aft, the aft grand staircase. This uh, is second class here. So it's actually a bit of a long walk from uh, bow to stern. Took a bit longer than I thought it would. <laughs> they block it with a turned over sofa. And yet that will lead to the aft grand staircase. Not sure what this room is. Obviously someone's room. Let's see if uh, it's got a sign. It does not. Okay, well, let's head back forward. Go up to C deck, I believe. Oh, let's see. This must be uh, a dining room for third class. There were some third class stairs a bit further up. Uh, forward unless we pass them already now here they are this is third class dining here 
it's a picture of the Olympic. And you can see the uh, there's a, a whole lot more room. Well, maybe not room, but more uh, table space for third class passengers because that's really where these shipping lines made their money was really the third class, not the first class. You would think they would have tried to provide better accommodations for third class back then because of that, but nope. Never heard of Red Star Line. So you have third class dining. The best third class accommodations on any ship. Hardly any rats. fat tank. wonder what that is. Oh, what we could do is go check out the Turkish baths. Let's see. Yeah, this is E-Deck. Uh, we're back in the forward grand staircase. Here we are, F-Deck. This is the uh, Turkish baths. Ladies and gentlemen could not use the Turkish baths at the same time. Now, one thing about the Turkish baths that's worthy of mentioning is, uh, see all this tile on the wall? On the real, uh, the real ship, all of this tile is actually still there. Uh, it, the seawater has not corroded the tile. Now, obviously, all the wood and whatnot's gone, but yes, that stuff is still there. <laughs> this is a nod to an, the uh, Titanic Adventure Out of Time game. Uh, something really bad happens in the Turkish bath, uh, and they're kind of uh, paying homage to uh, what happens in the game right here. Of course, it looks a little bit different in that game again because it's a much older game. And it's obviously a showers. imagine uh, what that tile would go for in today's currency. All right, let's go back up. And we'll go back up to D-Deck. Which again is the, uh, the dining area. We've seen all this, so uh, let's go up to C Deck. C Deck is where the purser's office was. The purser plays a role in Titanic Adventure Out of Time as well. Yes, if you'd like to support the game, uh, I have made a donation to the game. Uh, of course, that was many years ago that I did. 
but hopefully uh, they were able to put it to use. So yeah, here's C deck. This is the purser's office here. No telling what was all in there uh, at the time the ship sank. I'm catching a little lag. So now you know you're in first class. Can't get into that room. Oh, well, that looks familiar. Wish you could go into C-73. Always uh, think of that one. C-73 right there. This is your uh, cabin in Titanic Adventure Out of Time. Ring the bell and oh, good old Smethels would come. I'm not sure what this is. It almost looks like a meeting room of some kind. Or maybe some sort of dining area. Here's the aft grand staircase on C deck. And here's the barber shop. somebody's cabin looks a bit small for first class I'm not sure what that that room is This looks like the smoker's lounge. Yep, you see this in Titanic Adventure Out of Time as well. Certain uh, card player named Buick Riviera. We got some graphical images or distortions going on in this room. Oh, yeah, the poop deck. Oh, yeah. We had only third class passengers were allowed on the, uh, the poop deck and the, uh, forecastle deck or some people call it the forecastle deck and sorry for all the the choppiness but remember this again I want to emphasize this is a demo and not uh, a final version of the game. We are going to check this out too. But uh, right now I'm concentrating on focusing on the interior of the ship. 
So we're going to go back, uh, head forward, and make our way to B deck. Is that a lift as well? It might be. I didn't realize there was a lift uh, in the aft section. So actually, that wasn't the aft grand staircase. This is. That must have been the second class stairs. Here's the grand staircase. Let's go see what is uh, forward here. There's an open room right here. I'm not entirely sure what that is. They're not marked, so we can't tell. Guess uh, these are going to be more cabins. And we'll make our way up to B deck. Oh, you can go in the purser's office. Oh, no, you can't. You can see it uh, gets progressively nicer, even in first class. Got this little promenade area. And here's the lifts. And can you go in? No, you cannot. Go aft. So this part of B deck looks pretty much the same as C deck. Oh, the Cafe Parisienne should be over here, and it is. Yeah, the cafe uh, is also in Adventure Out of Time. Uh, 
obviously, in this game. It looks a bit nicer. That must be the a la carte restaurant. Once again, the poop deck. And second class stairs. I'm not entirely sure what this room is. I'm guessing it's uh, almost like a second class dining area. Right, let's go back to the cafe that way we can see the uh, the a la carte restaurant. This one's really nice to me. I don't know. This one to me is almost nicer than the uh, than the dining area on uh, the first class dining area on D deck. Kind of like this one more. I don't remember if the Alucard card was for first or second class. I think it was for first class. deck is really nice. Alright. Now let's go to A deck. deck and one of the most famous staircases in all of history right there look at that we're just going to admire that view for a second Let's check out a deck, or however much of it that we can. Whoa. Yeah, these are going to be all the a deck cabins. Let's see if any cabins here are open. Nope, doesn't look like it. 
like it. Oh, yes. Uh, I want to say, even in first class back then, you, uh, toilets were communal. I think s some cabins might have had their own bathrooms, but I think uh, for the most part, you had to share. Look at that. Love it. Not sure what this room would have been used for. Yeah, all the uh, the lifts are parked on B deck. And this, can you get to the A, to A deck promenade? Nope, you can't not, at least not through right there. Aha. Uh -huh. They don't want you to pass. But... Here it is, the A deck promenade. Now, the easiest way to tell the Titanic apart from the Olympic, uh, which is the, the first ship in the Olympic class, the Olympic did not have these windows like the Titanic does. It's opened up, like you see that section down there where there are no windows. So if ever you see pictures of a ship without these windows, it's, it is the Olympic. go on this side either yeah they don't want you for some reason they don't want you uh going down the uh the promenade hey. we can go down here Hmm. This is obviously an incomplete room. Hopefully we can get out of it. So lounge area. Taking a minute to load this area. Beautiful, though. Hmm. Again, this is a demo, not the final version of a game. So please keep that in mind. Uh, you can access the promenade deck here, too. They still don't want you to walk it, though. They've got it blocked off. Let's see, and we are back at the aft grand staircase. somebody's cabin huh here's the plans for the ship I wonder if this was Thomas Andrews cabin I'm not go through there I didn't realize the F grand staircase has its own dome as well Uh, 
wonder. Yeah. So. This is the fireplace in the movie. Uh, where Thomas Andrews is last seen. Uh, he's standing right here at this fireplace. He fixes the time on the clock. This must be the, uh, this has got to be the first class smoker's lounge. Or I thought the other one was, unless there's more than one. Unbelievable how beautiful this ship was. I mean, they spared no expense to make this thing as elegant as possible. All right, let's go back forward towards the grand staircase. Having a lot of trouble with this room. I don't know why. So yeah, that's all of A deck. You know, a lot of scenes from that movie happened right here at this grand at the grand staircase. Here's the uh, the two people that uh the ship is named or the game is named for, honor and glory. Let's see if we can go down here and see some stuff. Not sure what that is. I want to see the uh, the wireless room uh, was on a deck as well. I want to say it was around the captain's uh, quarters, if memory serves. In the uh, Adventure Out of Time game, it was uh, on the forward port side boat deck. But uh, I don't believe that was. 100% accurate. Well, let's see if we can go on boat deck. We can go on the boat deck. Here we are. Look at the massive funnels. First class entrance. Okay, so the uh, the gymnasium was on the uh, on the starboard side. Well, I would imagine you can't go up on that. Passengers are not allowed forward of this. Well, let's see if we can. Nope. We can't get uh, any more forward of this. Let's go on the other side, see if we can at least go see the gymnasium. Because the gymnasium was on boat deck in the game, too, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, I th Well, not pretty sure, but I think that was accurate. Ah, so there's an inside entrance to the gymnasium as well. And here we are. Oh, 
I wonder had uh had the Titanic never sank and the Britannic never sank, they would have had to update this uh this poster at some point. Because you notice the Britannic is not on there. Now, obviously it, it would not have been. The Britannic was not construction on the Britannic was not completed till well after the Titanic sank. And we can't go on boat deck from there. Let's see if we can go here. Nope. So we can only see so much of the boat deck. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, let's see how far aft we can go. Uh, there's a little compass tower. Ah, the gate's open so we can we can go further aft. What do we have here? Uh, we this is a deck promenade, which we cannot uh, traverse. Alright, see, so here's the, uh, that's where the uh, second class, I mean, not second class, the uh, aft grand staircase, the cover for the dome is. Wonder if we can go on the poop deck. Uh, we got to go down uh, the second class stairs in order to try and access the poop deck. Well, before we do that, let's see if we can. No, it's blocked off. The gate's closed there. really like to get on the forecast deck but it kind of doesn't look like it's going to happen Let's see if we can get outside from here Here we go. Hmm. Can you get in here? Ah, uh, this is more third class stuff. Can't go any further. We've got an invisible wall here. So uh, back up the stairs. This is a uh, docking platform.
Of course, uh, we have to go all the way to the back here. We know what happened here in the movie. Uh, the flag is not up. All right, well, I don't, I can't think of a way to get any more forward than what we are. Let's uh, quit to main menu. Let's see. I don't want to do nighttime just yet. See, we've already been through all these. See, Scotland Road. We've explored second class. We've pretty much seen everything there is to see. Let's start back here and just check one more time if we can get to the uh, forecastle deck. I just want to double back and make sure I didn't miss something. back up to a deck it was faster to do all this instead of trying to go back and walk back to the front of the ship from all the way back there yeah we know we couldn't get through a deck promenade deck is blocked off on both sides yeah so this door is blocked this door is blocked so Surprised they don't let you go any more forward than this. Trying to climb the ladder, can't do that. Yeah, you cannot open the gate. All right, well, I don't think we've seen everything there is to see in this demo. So, uh, Next time we do it, we'll do it at night. That way we can see the ship all lit up on the outside, at least the, the outside areas that are accessible. So we'll end where uh, right here on the grand staircase with honor and glory to our backs. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, and that's gonna be it for this stream. Uh, we'll be back on our regular schedule of American Truck Simulator uh, this coming week. Well, there will probably not be a stream on Thanksgiving, of course. Maybe not even the night before. I don't know yet. Uh, I'll see. But, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And uh, in the meantime, of course, you know the drill. Drive safely.